If you are looking to strengthen and define your arms and shoulders, well, you have come to the right workout because that is exactly what we are gonna do today. The only thing you will need for this workout will be your dumbbells. We will be on the ground for one exercise and that's gonna be our tricep push-ups. So you may or may not want a mat for that. To give you a range for my dumbbells, I'm gonna use probably my 10, my 15, and my 20 pound dumbbells. 10 pounds, we're gonna be doing things for what I'm gonna use my 10 pounds for, tricep overhead extension, also lateral raise, probably use those for my 10s, and then my 20s, I'll probably work for my shoulder press and also my bicep curls. So that's just to give you a range and give you an idea of what we are working with today. The goal for you here is to pick weight that is going to challenge you. That's really what's gonna help us build those nice, strong and defined shoulders and arms. So with that said, let's get right into our warm up, and then we'll get our workout started. So starting right now, just one arm taking nice big circles back here. We're gonna work through a quick warm up to make sure the joints are ready, to make sure the muscles are getting warm so we can start out going heavy because we've only got 25 minutes and we wanna make every second count. Last one, other side. So nice big circles. Three more. Here's three. Here's two. And one, now we're gonna take one arm across. So swipe your arm across and then bring it back. So opening up the shoulders here, warming up the arms. Three more, three, two, and one other side. So we're actually gonna work through a couple of the exercises that we're gonna do today during this warm up, just to get everything going, but we're gonna do that without any weight. Here's two. And one, so first one, we're gonna reach the arms up nice and tall and we're gonna do a tricep overhead extension without weight. So take your time through this, making sure you're working through full range of motion and then take your time and squeeze, good. So just working through the exercises so our muscles know what to expect. Just a couple more, two more from here, here's two. And from here, we're gonna go into a shoulder press position. So from here, we're gonna open up wide, bending those arms, and just taking it about halfway up and halfway down. But think about squeezing right here. So you're thinking about squeezing those shoulder blades. I'm thinking about bringing my arms to the wall behind me even. So really getting a nice squeeze. We've got three more. We're gonna finish out with those biceps curls, two and one. So bring the arms all the way down from here, focus on the squeeze and squeeze. Good. Couple more seconds and then we're gonna get ready to go right into our workout. First exercise we are working today is going to be cross body curls. And we're gonna get into those in three, in two, and one. So for those cross body curls, make sure you're going heavy enough. We get two chances at each exercise. So grab your dumbbells and let's get right into this. So shoulders rolled down and back, head is up. We're gonna alternate sides. Let's begin, here we go. Good, keep your arms nice and close to your body as you curl up. Really think about squeezing that muscle and take your time, work at your own pace here. We are gonna get a chance at the end of each round to do a burnout set. So it's gonna be, oh, we're gonna be working it. Oh, so good. This is your last one. Good. Take a quick recovery. We've got 25 seconds here. We're gonna do that same exercise. So right now decide if you could go up or down or stick with the same weight. I want you to keep that in mind throughout the entire workout because I won't remind you every time, but really challenge yourself with the dumbbell weight that you are picking. We gotta go again. Five seconds, so grab your weights. We go in three, here's two, and let's begin. Good, make sure as you curl, your shoulders are staying nice and relaxed. You're not letting your shoulders creep up towards your ears. So everything's rolled down and back.
first round all about the biceps. So we're gonna burn the biceps out, then the triceps, followed by the shoulders. Whew, last one, here's two and one. Nice job. All right, so we've got 25 seconds again to recover. Now we're going into that basic bicep curl. So you, again, think about the weight you're gonna use. Make it challenging. Breathing. Shoulders rolled down and back. Eight seconds we go. Good, and here's three, two, and let's go. Both arms at the same time. Squeeze. And up, good. Exhale as you pull that weight up. So really exhale as you're contracting that bicep muscle. Ooh. Come on, you're, you're getting close. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Ooh. Now you may need to shake it out. So shake it out if you need to. One more set like that. So really take your time, work through those all the way down to all the way up. So last set for bicep curls. Grab your dumbbells for the basic bicep curls. We still have another exercise plus the burnout round to go, but let's begin. Here we go. Check your form, make sure your shoulders aren't creeping up, make sure your arms aren't coming up and away from your body. Whew, just about 10 seconds now. Five, four, three, two, oh, and we rest it out. Nice job, next exercise we're going into hammer curl. So we're going to have two sets of the hammer curls before that final burnout set. Hammer curls, again, keep your arms nice and close to your body. Thumbs are going to be leading up. I'm going to adjust my weight, actually. We've got to go in three seconds, in two, and here we go. Nice. So palms are facing each other. You're taking your time, working through, getting stronger. We are pumping up the biceps right now. When we get through this set, you just take a nice little feel. You can probably feel that they are warm. Oh my word. Oh, so close. Good, here's three, two, and one. My oh my. Shake it out. Last set here before that burnout set. Oh. Breathing. 15 seconds. All right. We've got to go here. Five seconds. Three, two, last set for hammer curls. Here we go. Good, make sure you get that full range of motion. All the way down, squeezing all the way up. I got a little twist here as I bring it up to really contract that bicep even more. Ooh, almost there. You're rocking it, oh my word, this has not been an easy round. Last one, and there's time. All right, so the burn out set. We are going to do bicep pulses. So we're gonna get in that bicep curl position and we're just gonna pulse it out here. So timer is up just a little bit to 45 seconds. So get ready to go because we've got just under 10 seconds before we burn it out. So make it count, get them about halfway up 
and let's pulse. So you're lowering a few centimeters or a few inches and then up a few inches. Oh, okay, yep, it's, it's burning out. I'm not sure about you, but I am the biceps. It's the best, it's the best. Don't forget that. You're getting stronger. And hey, you're over halfway. So come on, little pulses. Ooh. Ooh. 10 seconds. Come on, count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, I'll shake it out. Time to do the same thing to the triceps. Oh yeah, we're going there. All right, so we are working tricep push-ups now. So this is where we will be on the mat or on the ground, I need to, I have totally just made a mess of my, of my space. So tricep push-ups, you can do these knees or toes, but you're gonna keep your arms nice and close to your body. So get into position, we're getting ready to go, and let's rock it. So keep those arms back, you're driving those elbows to the wall behind you. Keep your legs and glutes squeezed. Is that? Keep your legs and glutes, squeeze those as you're squeezing your core. Exhale as you push up. Here's two, and you got it. One, breathe it out. Shake it out, same structure as the biceps. So we're gonna have two sets for each, and then we'll have that burn out set at the very end. So we've got one more set for the tricep push-ups. Breathing. Let's get ready. We got less than 10 seconds again. Now, if you're working to get these on your toes, try to do a couple sets, or a couple reps, and then drop to your knees when you need. But let's begin, here we go. Come on, keep it strong. So close now. Exhale as you push up. Whew. Last three, two, and that's one. Nice job. Now we're gonna bring it up for tricep kickback. So bring it up to our feet. This is where I'm gonna Bring my weight down just a little bit more. So we're hinging at the hips, back is flat. Bring those arms up and we're gonna kick it back in three, in two, and here we go. Keep those elbows nice and lifted. Really think about squeezing that tricep muscle as you extend. Hold it for a second at the top. Come on, almost there. Here's three, here's two, and that's the last one. Shake it out. Oh, tell you, working the opposing muscle groups like that, first the biceps and now the triceps, so good, so good. We go again, 10 seconds. So adjust rights if you need to. Remember, this is your time, so make every second, make every set count. Three seconds, here's two, and let's go. Ooh, you got it. I know it's starting to burn. Oh, come on, almost there. 
you're amazing. I'm telling you what, you are gonna make those arms so strong. And that was the last one there. Now we've got tricep overhead extension. Now for this one, you can use one or two dumbbells. I like to use one because I always get my hair stuck when I have two. So I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell here. We gotta get ready to go. Bring your weight up, we've got five seconds. Elbows tucked in, and let's go. Here we go. Down, and press. So last set here, or two sets, last exercise before we get into that burnout set. So as you lower down, you might, might notice your elbows flare out just a bit naturally, but as you bring it up, think about squeezing those arms and that'll bring those elbows back in. You wanna keep those close right here as you extend and that's time. Nice job. One more set there. Whew. Oh my. I love shoulders, triceps and biceps. I don't know what it is. It's just, oh, such a good combo. We gotta go again. Last time for this exercise, so bring it up. We go in three, in two, here we go. Exhale as you press that weight up. Now if your tempo's slowing down a bit, that's okay. Don't try to work on getting as many reps as you can in during this 40 seconds. Work on getting the best reps that you can get in. And maybe that means you only get eight in. That's okay, as long as they're your best with you going heavy enough. And this is three, this is two, and one. Nice. Quick 25 second recovery before we finish out with that burner. We are going to tricep kickback pulses. So. I am actually, well, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Go for it with me. Come on, we're gonna hinge it. Again, it's just a, a small pulse, so we're just gonna be back pulsing. All right, let's get ready to go. 45 seconds. Back flat, core engaged. Keep those arms close. Remember what the pulse is, just a little move in and out. But this time it's a little bit higher up, so we're trying to work for that extension and then back in just a couple of inches. Oh, my, my. Come on, you're over halfway. Oh, so close. Good. Here's three, two, one. Nice. All right, we have made it to the shoulders round now. First exercise in the shoulders round is bottom to top. So one heavy dumbbell for this to really work your front deltoid. We're gonna hold on to the ends of our dumbbell. We're gonna start at the bottom, raise it right up to the top. We go in three, two, here we go. Lift it up and pull it down. a slight bend in your knees. You exhale as you bring that dumbbell to the top. Ooh. Almost there. Here's three, two, one. Nice job. One more set like that. Adjust your weight if needed. Hey, you just brought it for the biceps round. You just brought it for the triceps round. Bring it for the shoulders round because we are so close to the end now. So really bring it, work heavy. This is going to help build those round and defined shoulders. So work it out right now. Let's go, bottom to top. 
Sometimes during a strength workout, you gotta remember what you're working for. So don't let that slip your mind as the burn gets real. As it gets tough, you remember why you're there. And that's what's gonna get you stronger when you push through those tough times. Ooh, nice. And no, I am pushing right with you. This is why I love to work out with you because uh, we take it to the next level around here. And it's so good to do it with you right here. And one. Okay, next, that lateral raise. So this is where you're gonna need two dumbbells. And we're gonna be lifting and lowering, just keeping a slight bend in that elbow. Now we're working the lateral or the medial deltoid. So that's where you get that defined round look. So that's what we're gonna work next. We gotta go in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Good. Breathing out, right there. Come on, well over halfway. You are getting close. And I am getting tickled in the nose by my, one of my hairs. So I'm gonna be excited when this set is over so I can <laughs> move that. Here's three, here's two, and a one. Oh, okay. I sometimes will gauge my, my strength workouts by like the wildness of my hair. And I feel like I've, my hair is getting pretty wild on this one. And I, hmm. We got that one more time. We can do it, you got this. If you can go heavier, rack it on up. Three seconds, two, here we go. Take your time, lift and down. Make sure your shoulders are not shrugging up towards your ears with this. So make sure the shoulders are staying nice and relaxed. So close. And then we've got our last set before the burner set. And last one. Nice job. Okay. Working that basic shoulder press. One of the best exercises. It's an awesome exercise. So grab some heavy weights. Get ready for shoulder press. Remember, last two sets here before that burn around. My mat is really having a fun time over here getting all wadded up, isn't it? Hey, we're working with some new things. We got the rug in here and we're learning. Oh, shoulder press in three, in two, here we go. Take your time. All the way up, exhale and down, good. Start heavy when you start these sets. You can always go down. But it really is hard once you get started to say, mm, let me just take a pause and go up. So start heavy if you need to go down. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nice. Breathe it out. Almost there. One more set like that, and then we are really finishing it out with a burner after this one. How you doing though? I, I feel, feel them. They're warm. Like you are pumping it up and it's amazing. One more set here. So grab your dumbbells. We've got five seconds, four seconds. Let's rock it. Here we go. So close, come on. Good, don't forget to breathe, especially when it gets tough. Come on, you're over halfway. Almost there, three, two, one. Nice, we are going into the burnout. 
shoulder press pulse. So get a dumbbell that's gonna challenge you for this last 45 seconds. Give it everything you've got and know that you're gonna be stronger because of it. We've got five seconds. Oh, last 45. This has been amazing with you right now. I can't wait to finish strong. Here we go. <clears throat> Little pulse, up and down. Good. So arms are about parallel to the floor here. And you're just moving up a couple inches and back down. Oh my. Oh. Come on, over halfway. Keep it strong. Remember what you're working for. Now is not the time to give up. Come on, under 10 now. Three, two. You are amazing. Do you know that? If you didn't, now you do, because you rock. That was awesome. Do not forget to get a nice stretch. You can catch a stretch right there. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for kicking butt with me. I love you.